so today is going to be a very different video, the first of the kind. I am very excited about this one because it's going to be a planner video, like a planner a sticker haul and actually showing you my new planner. Very excited. And the weirdest thing about this is that you guys know that I, like my inspiration on YouTube is Chow Bella. She's like one of my favorite YouTubers. And just as I was about to post like this video, like make this video, um, she had just posted um, a video about her getting a planner and showing a sticker hole and things like that and I got really excited because we were like so in sync um, and I totally didn't know she was doing that at all so I was well excited. So today I'm going to be showing you my new planner and I've also got a fairly large Etsy sticker haul so this is going to be a long video but I've not been posting as frequently so I hope you guys kind of like this and if it is too long just feel free to go out and come back to it a bit later. Um, I'll put a time... Um, a time mark in here if you just want to see my Etsy sticker haul it'll be up here somewhere probably up in this corner right here um, then you can guys just skip to that number and go watch my Etsy sticker haul I want to start with what my planner is so I actually was researching planners and came across obviously Erin Condren the one that everybody talks about and I really wanted that planner um, however, it is an American company and to get it to the UK to me is ridiculous money. Like, I'm talking like 80, 90 dollars. Like, considering I'm new to this, that is just too much money, even I know that. So, I looked for more of a local company and the one I came across was somebody called Personal Planner. Now, this is the envelope it comes in. Obviously, I can't show you too much of it because, um, it's got my address right on the front. But it is this website right here, which you might be able to see. That is personal-planner.co.uk. And they are a sort of fairly new company there, sort of around since 2006. And I really liked their website. Everything about them was personal, like you can create your own cover, you can put your dates, you can choose everything inside the planner, which I'll go into more when I actually have the planner in front of me. So I placed an order with them and um, I ordered a planner like this. This is the first one that I ordered. If you follow me on Snapchat, you would know the story already of what happened. But this was my planner that I originally ordered. Um, and this was, I think it came to about £22. I'm not too sure because I did have some little extras that I chucked in there. But this originally is about £19.98 or something like that. Call it £20. Which I think is very reasonable for a planner. So um, this was my first planner. I'm not going to go into it far too much. But basically this is what the layout was. Um, it was the horizontal layout. And I just found that after I ordered all these stickers, it was just really hard to plan. So if I just show you like a week that I planned... I don't know where it is. Where's my week that I planned? Right, so this is the week that I planned and I just found it very difficult because I've been watching a lot of videos um, with the, obviously, the Erin Condren um, vertical one and that's all the stickers I ordered were actually for that sort of planner and I thought, oh, I'll just, you know, like sort of change things around and try and do it myself but I just found it too difficult so I thought, right, I need a, I need one with actual, like, uh, vertical boxes so that's what I ended up doing that's why this one has now become my work planner so this is the one I take with me to work every day and it's got all of my figures and things in it for work um, and it's worked out quite well for me actually so I won't go into that one too much however I did place another order and then I ended up getting it just yesterday which is why I'm very excited this is my new actual personal life planner and this is from the same company, as you can see, they are the same book, um, but just this one's different. So, on the front, we have my beautiful cover. Now, this was one of the, like, new templates, like, collaborating artists with the website. There was only three really nice designs, and one of them I really liked, but the quote wasn't, like, all that amazing. But this was my favourite quote, because I love quotes. And it says, you are capable of amazing things. And I just think that this one was very Erin Condren. Um, and it just looked the prettiest. And the back is the same. It's sort of a full-on template. Oh, sorry, I'm getting used to this angle and lighting. But it's just like watercolour and it's pink and purple. And it's really nice. And it, the, the thing's in there. And then you do have the option to put your name at the bottom. Or whatever you like, really. You can put whatever. But I put my name at the bottom. Um, and a lot of you know by now that this is my name. So I'm not going to hide it anymore. Um, so... Um, what comes with the planner is you can personalize everything like that. The only problem I did have with this is that I couldn't change the color of this. I really wanted it in a pink, but the website was malfunctioning and I couldn't get it in pink. So that's kind of crap, but that was the only problem I had with them. 
You can also choose your elastic color and you can have, I think there's purple, pink, whatever else, I don't know. I went for pink on my other one as well, but I wanted pink on this one. And I really like the elastic because it does just keep everything together because your planner can get a bit bulgy. A lot of people were complaining about the cover, about it being very, um, very thin and like flimsy and just like photo paper, but this is actually like proper card and I don't know if that's because it was printed, um, or like it was a pre-printed thing or whatever, I don't really know, but there we go. So this is my first page. The reason I'm covering the bottom here is just because it's got my telephone number on it in case I do lose this and it's got um, my, my email address, which is my business email address anyway. And I'm so stupid. I put, I made a typo in this, which really annoys me, but I put at the front, ciao Bella, because that's what I say all the time in my videos. I say ciao, and of course you're all my Bellas because it's Bella Bambina. Um, so I put ciao Bella. Um, life is all about taking chances, appreciating the memories, learning from the past and finding happiness. But I spelt it thinning. So I've just took a little pink pen and put a D in there, but it's fine because it's kind of got a dual meaning, like thinning happiness, like thinning means like in French, like finishing. So, like, finishing on happiness. I don't know, kind of a cool mistake, but I'm, I'm fine with it. It doesn't bother me. So, turning to the next page, this is what my spreads look like. Much, much happier with this. Um, so, it is just a vertical layout. You can choose if you want lines. I didn't want any lines. You can get it half lined and half not or all not lined. And that's what I went for because I'm planning on glam planning this planner, meaning lots and lots of stickers, meaning don't needing lines. The only thing I did select from their website is that you can select these little um, things to have in each day, whether there's like a weather tracker, see so there's like a little box with a sunshine, a rain or a thunder cl cloud and you can tick it and see like what the rain is, um, what the weather is and keep track of that. Or they have this one which is like a work hours, it's got like a little factory with a clock and it says hours and you can put in there your work hours and I thought that would just be the only thing that I may utilise now and again but I have like work stickers so I don't know if I will but it's they're only tiny so it's fine. Then the option is on the website is you can choose what you'd like down at the bottom. You can have nothing if you want. So for example, this is a blank space. Um, so you could have all of this, like this just all blank if you wanted. But I decided to go for a couple of their little pre-made sort of um, designs. So on this one that I put the to-dos. So I like this to-do. I'm actually utilizing that one quite a lot in my other planner. Um, I'm putting like what I need to do for the week and then it's got two chick tick boxes that say started and done so like for example next month I need to book um, a few tickets to go up to London and things like that so I can click started if I've researched it and done when they're actually done then you have this little section which is idea of the week now this I kind of don't use as much because I've got the same bottom layout in my other planner because I like it but I don't use it as much um, you can have idea of the week or you can put your goals or I don't know what art means. Maybe you just like do little doodles or whatever in here. I'm not using this as much as I'd like to, but there we go. This little calendar in the corner is, um, it's compulsory. Like you can't change it. Kind of wish you could because I don't use these guys at all. And the only thing I don't really like about the vertical layout that I couldn't customize is that my Saturday and Sunday are smaller and they're on the side. Um, which means weekend banners I'm going to have to put across Friday and Saturday like and Sunday, which this is kind of my weekend anyway. So I count as the weekend anyway. Um, so I, yeah, that's, that's the layout for the um, vertical planner. And I really do like this much more than my horizontal one for glam planning. So at the end of every month, you do have a month overview for the next month. I really like this because as you can see, I've got all my personal dates that are put in here. You can do this on the website. It did take me a little while to get all of my family members' anniversaries and birthdays and stuff like that together, but it's worth it in the end because when you've got it actually printed in your diary, it looks a lot nicer. So I love the week overview, uh, sorry, the month overview, and I have been using that in my other one as well. Like, for example, when I go up to London for the whole week, I've got London highlighted, I've got, like, London here, going here, this, like, work here, events here, things like that. Like, it's easy to just overlay and see it, so I am using it. And what I've started using on this little side checklist is things to do for the month. So, for example, I can see that it's going to be, it was my Gramps' birthday, um, and... I can put on the side here like um, get Gramp birthday present and that's like at the middle of the month so it just has to be done. So then when I'm actually going to plan my week I can go back to my monthly overview see what's happening in that month which I don't really glam plan this so it can just be like written 
um, so I can like put notes in the whole week and then when I actually come to do my proper glam planning I can look back on the monthly review and plan the week accordingly so it actually works out really really well so this is the whole layout of the weeks I really do like it much much better for glam planning the other one is definitely better if you just want a planner just to write in um, but this one is really good if you're going to be using a lot of stickers so what the other thing I love about um, Personal Planner is that you can order it whenever you like throughout the year and you can choose when you want it to start. So for example, if you want to order it now to start in January, you can do that. If you want to order it now to start in October, you can. No problem. Love it. So I ordered it to start in September because I knew it would be getting here, although I could have got it to start in um, October because I am missing, like I'm you not using all of these pages now, which kind of annoys me, but I'm probably just going to rip them out. Um, because they're not needed in there. So this is the current week that we're on. As you can see, I've not planned it. I'm going to be planning it later today and I won't be filming the first plan with me because I'm new to it. I need to just sort of play around and take ages to do it. But um, this is what it looks like. And the other thing that it comes with is a um, ruler. So in my other diary, I got a pink ruler, but in this one, I decided to get a clear one. And I just like to put this on the current month so I can just quickly flip open the book and voila. Other thing I forgot to mention is, of course, you can customize your header. I just went with the matching one with the front of the cover because I just thought it looked nice together. I did debate going for a neutral color because obviously when I do different spreads and different themed things, this isn't always going to tie in with the color, but I have got some washi tape that I can just put over a top and work with it so it'll be fine. So something I really loved about Personal Planner which I thought was just so quirky and fun is that when I got this I had a little look through it or when I got the other one I had a little look through it and they have this page right here which says whoops a typo and it says as compensation you and a friend will get a bit of a discount on your next order this planner seems to be coming to an end anyway use the code blah 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 and blah 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 I'm not going to be using them so you guys can use them no problem if they haven't already been used by the time you're watching this. Um, and this, um, <laughs> I thought it was real for a second, but if you turn it over, it says, just kidding, we wouldn't make a typo, rip out this page and your planner will look normal again. But hey, save the discount codes, they're real. I thought that was so <laughs> cute. So, um, loved that, just a little personal touch. Then coming into the back of the planner, so this ends in August, September of next year, so it's a full year planner, 12 months. So, when it comes to the back, you can choose if you want an overview of 2015 and 2016, or 2016 and 2017. I didn't want that because 2017 I just can't even comprehend at the moment. So I got an overview of 2015 and an overview of 2016. Much better. Love it. Love the colour scheme. Rainbow. Loving it. Then you can also get, you get complimentary one of these clear folders with every purchase, but I did additionally order a second one, which is just back here. And I'm planning to keep my like sort of everyday planner stickers in there. And obviously for my work one, I've been using it so much, like keeping like my paperwork and things like that, I just need to take home in. It's been brilliant. I really recommend getting a couple of these um, because they're fabulous and they just clip in and you can put them wherever you want in the planner. Um, so I can pull this right out um, and just put it back somewhere else. Then the other thing you can customise is what you would like at the back of your planner. So for me, I decided to go with maps. And this I decided to go with because I want to put on these maps, I want to mark everywhere in the world I've been. Because as you guys know, I'm quite a big traveller. I love travelling to new places. I've been to loads of places. And I just want to mark on this map, like all throughout these maps, um, everywhere I've been in the world. So I can overlook it and think, wow, I've been there, there and there. I want to go there, there and there. And I just thought it'd be a much, it's a really cool way to sort of use the maps because I never use maps in sort of like crap planners you can just buy at the shops. Um, but this one I thought I'm really going to try and make something of it. Like you can see Australia is here. Like I can mark I've been to all of these places up here because I went all the way up this coast. So it will just look absolutely amazing when I look back on it and think, wow, I've been to all these places. And then at the back you do just get lined paper. I Well, that, I think it's just standard you get lined paper because everybody needs lined paper. But on this page, this section, there's options to use. Uh, I think you can put colouring books here, you can put Sudoku, you can just have more lined paper if you're planning to use this as a notebook as well. Um, there's so many options and it's just really, really cool. So. That is my little review of Personal Planner. Of course, as you guys can see, I haven't used this specific one yet, but I have been using my other one and I have really been liking it. I just think that having a planner, it just makes life so much easier. 
and I'm really happy to have sort of a personal one and then a work one where I can separate things because I do want to keep this like really personal and almost make it like a scrapbook like you would with glam planning. So yeah, that is my planners that I thought I would show you and I will leave my personal discount code because I got contacted by them um, and they actually gave me a um, voucher and that's when I actually decided to go ahead and get a personal planner as well as a um, like sort of work personal planner. So thank you very much to Personal Planner. It was very awesome working with you guys. I'm not sponsored by them at all. They just complimentary sent me a gift card, but I'd already purchased this one before they'd even knew I was doing a video about them. Um, and then they just sent me a gift card to either, you know, use and get maybe get something else because they do notebooks and full calendars, wall calendars and stuff like that. But I thought, no, I'm going to probably get another planner because I wasn't, this wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Right. So now we are coming to the Etsy sticker haul of the portion. I well, that made no sense. The Etsy portions, the portion of the Etsy sticker haul. Um, very excited about sharing this with you guys. All these stickers have come from all over the world. New Zealand, um, uh, quite a few of them are in the UK because I'm very impatient with shipping. Um, and also uh, America, of course. I've got one batch of stickers that are coming again from America and they've not got here yet and they're taking forever, but they should be here eventually. So the first thing I'll just start off by showing you guys is some washi that I decided to get. And this is just off of eBay. I need to get more washi because I loved how it looked in that spread if I showed you guys. I used this cherry blossom one. Oh my gosh, so, so nice. Um, it just looks really pretty along the bottom of the planner. And then I got this rose gold um, copper polka dot one, thought that was very pretty. And this blue floral one, which is very Kath Kids and loving it. Right, so Etsy sticker haul. This is what I have to show you guys. Very, very, very excited about it. Right, where should we start? Let's start here because... Well, as you can see, I've kind of already started using these stickers with my other planner, but I didn't realize that, because I'd filmed this video before, and then I didn't realize I wanted to order another one and stuff like that, but hey, I did. So, some of them will be missing, but <laughs> it's not going to make a huge difference. So, first of all, I want to show you some stickers from the Hummingbird Planner. This is, um, these are all from Etsy, by the way. And there's just a nice little note that she wrote me in there. And then this is the page of stickers that I ordered from her. Love how big this page is. Oh my days. So, so good. Um, I'm just going to grab my phone and get up the prices so I can share that with you guys. Okay, so yeah, this one is from the Hummingbird Planner. And I paid £4.51 in total for this guy. And I believe it came from New Zealand. I'm not 110%. But these are just some work stickers. And the reason I love these ones is because they say two and two, like two. So I can put, because with my job, I work different hours, different days. So I need to, I can't just put a work sticker and know that I'm working like nine till five. No, I need to be flexible and I work different times on different days. So I loved these because all different color schemes, of course, and I can put in there my times. So yeah, I just loved all the different colors and how many you got in here. And I've used them already and I think they are brilliant. The finish of these guys is, I think they're matte. Let me just take it out of the plastic because it's a lot easier to show you all. Ooh. Yeah, so they're matte, which I prefer matte, I'm not going to lie. I have, like, these ones are glossy and I've used them and I just don't like them. They look like stuff you can buy at the shop. I don't really like the glossy ones. Um, as you can see, I've used one of these already. It was just a little telephone because I had to call my boss. Um, but these are all matte. Very beautiful. Love them a lot. So this is the little sampler they gave me. Um, this will come in handy, but I don't like how it's all, like, one colour scheme. I out I'll be doing like an orange spread anytime soon I've not got many orange stickers but there we go so that was the hummingbird planner so this next one is Pip's palette now this one I think came from oh I don't even know where did this come from the US maybe yeah I think it was yeah the US it came from the US so all I did was order one sheet of YouTube stickers and she gave me like it came in this really nice packaging with all these different links and this nice metallic stickers on it um, and this were the ones I ordered. They're just some little YouTube stickers so I can plan out when I need to film and etc. Things like that. And she gives you a very generous little sample sheet of these. I believe they're called like kawaii um, patterns, like little cup of tea. Loving that. Love this film one if I need to watch a film. Um, shopping and nail polish bottles. And then you've got some little Pinterest and Instagrams and a Facebook one. These are going to come in really handy. And then these little dots as well, which I can use as bullet points. This is a really generous sample page considering all I bought was this one thing. But the total was $6. Um, dollars, six 
six forty US dollars. Um, so I'm not too sure what that is in pounds. I believe that's about four odd pounds. I think maybe just under, maybe three pounds ninety odd. Um, but yeah, these are much smaller than I anticipated. But it's fine. It will be fine. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these out. All right, moving on. The next company I want to show you is Planner Press. Um, which is plannerpress.etsy.com so I ordered these sheets right here uh, these sheets? <laughs> I ordered this sheet right here which I could not pass up there is so many stickers on Etsy for like chain sheets day but this one was the prettiest so I had to have it um, and this guy was kind of expensive this was eight eight twenty two um US dollars and I think that's kind of a lot because the shipping for this was I think about like four or five pounds no maybe like four pounds something which I really could was debating for ages to pay but I actually ended up did doing it and actually love these stickers so much um but there is just like I don't know this will last me a while I only change my sheets about three times a month or maybe sometimes four um depending on what like obviously people are staying and stuff like that so this is really nice and this should not this should take me a while to use and then she also gave me a really nice little sample sheet loving it it says thank you planner press and it's got a little um coffee machine these little shapes a clean cage which from i'm sure if you own a pet like in a cage that's brilliant but that's going to be absolutely no use to me um, a little donut van, a coffee date uh, sticker, early day, cleaning day, a little church, and a little page flag. Um, so yeah, really generous again. And she also sent me this bookmark, which I might actually use in my planner. I think it'd be quite a nice little addition to it. So that was a planner press. Okay, so moving on. This is the next one, and I kept it in the packaging because I thought, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Love this. So I've decided that I'm going to be doing a watermelon, sorry, watermelon, a pink lemonade spread as I think that's quite a popular thing to do on um, planners. So I was going to go with uh, the, I think the one specific people that started it, I don't remember who it was, who started the sort of whole uh, pink lemonade spread. But it was from an American company and it was really expensive to get it shipped over, but I really wanted to do it. So I found this company, which is Planable Designs. They are a UK based company. Very, very happy about that. They have some of the cutest things. So I ordered loads of sheets from her because I really, really liked um, her stuff. And this cost me, how much was Planable Designs? So this whole order was about £9.52, um, so call it £10. So this is her little freebie sheet she gave me. It's got one of these sparkly planners on it, which I actually got a page of, as you can see here, but that's going to still come in handy. Uh, a little like payday sticker, a little pound sign, a envelope, an arrow, a little piggy and a to do sticker. Really cute little one that I can probably keep in my planner. Then I got the whole pink lemonade spread. These did come separately. So this is like one page of stickers. So these are the half boxes, which are going to be really nice to sort of fill in and just add some really nice pretty patterns. And then this is another page that I ordered separately. And these are the full boxes, which I'll be able to fit. There's another thing I like to say is these do actually fit in the personal planner. They are a little tiny bit smaller. Um, than the actual width of the box, but it's absolutely fine like you can get away with it So if you have got a personal planner and you're looking for stickers, you can get Erin Condren boxes. They will fit a vertical planner um, So I got two well, that was one sheet of them. I love these designs. They are so adorable Then I got these little planners and they are sparkly planners love it so so much They're not actually sparkly, but they are like a sparkle like print which I just love I think they look so glamorous and they are matte all of these stickers I've showed you by the way are matte I've made sure they are because I like them and then this is what's going to complete my lemonade pink lemonade spread is I'm going to have my all my little matching stickers which are going to look really really pretty so I did order another pink lemonade page from another company but these are the ones that the majority of them that I got anyway and these were planable designs and I've already planned on ordering some more from her because I love her stuff they're so good and really affordable all of this for like 10 pounds to me worth it this is so oh my god this is like the one sticker sheet I've been waiting for for so long so this is from where is it from bear with me this is from the emerald bluebird and I can't believe actually how much I paid for this, but I loved it so much. So she doesn't send any freebies, which is always sad, but whatever. 
Um, and I ended up actually paying fifth, like $14.25 for this two pages of stickers. I got two because I thought the shipping is costing me like stupid money for a piece of paper. So I'm going to have to try and make the most of it. So I just couldn't resist these stickers. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. It's like loose leaf teas and like herbs and stuff. Loved them absolutely adored the way they are designed and I believe she draws them all herself as well so there's no nowhere else you can get these so beautiful um <clears throat> the reason I got these is primarily obviously it's for decoration but another one is I do drink a lot of tea so it's nice to track my tea intake um so that's what I'll probably use these for oh I still can't get over how beautiful and like vintagey looking these look you have like the lavender on the side and like these herbs in a pestle and mortar and like the teapots and the jugs gorgeous all right the next company I have to show you I ordered twice from so my first order was this one right here and this is from Stickle Co this is also another UK based company so if I just show you my first order which is this guy here the bigger order I paid £19.70 for all of these stickers so each page of their stickers is pretty much about £2 each which is kind of expensive once you sort of build it up but um this is one of the first orders I placed after I ordered my planner so I was very excited but 20 pounds now I look at it for a few pieces of paper it's is extortionate however <laughs> these are the things I ordered on my first order so this was 20 pounds so this was a little sampler she gave me it did have a little drink carton in it but I've used that already to mark when I went to Dismaland and I have a few little bullet points a sort of teardrop box and little tiny um arrows and then these are the stickers I ordered. So we do have the weekend banners, used one already across my um, horizontal planner, but I'm looking forward to fitting this across my vertical planner. Really pretty, love the pastel colors. And once again, these are all matte. Then I have these day off banners, beautiful as well. Love these, because like I said, with my job, sometimes I'm off on random days. I won't be off on the weekend. So it's nice to sort of have a little banner to mark when I'm gonna be off, and I've used one of them already, as you can see. Little shopping trolleys, if there's something I need to go and get specifically, or if I'm having a shopping day, or if I actually need to go get some like groceries and stuff like that. Then I've got these wine glasses to mark because I, I go out quite a lot on the weekends and just generally but like actually go out with my friends to like clubs and whatnot, parties and things like that. Then I have these little coffee cups. I don't really mark like when I'm going to go get a coffee, but I thought it'd be nice if I'm just going to have a relaxing day or if I'm going out shopping, like I said, usually go grab a coffee. And also fall's coming up. Well, fall is here and pumpkin spice lattes are around and I love pumpkin spice lattes. So I might mark that each day I decide to get one. Love this sheet <laughs> because it's a payday sheet and I do get paid monthly so this is going to be really good for me to put it in and like with YouTube when I get paid it's really mismatched I don't know when it will be so um, I can't really mark that but with my actual job I can so they come with flags they come with these like tags and of course the pound signs which is a really good if you just want to use to mark like how much you spent in a day or something or how much you want to save for the day. Then I got these little boxes which say to clean and they've got little star bullet points and you can just put obviously what you need to clean. Going to be really handy for me because as you guys know, just love cleaning. And then this is the sampler sheet. So it's basically got a bunch of everything that I sort of need on there. So I've got the star weekend banner which is cool because that's not one I have. Um, the flags, the to do, a little page header work. Um, donuts, coffee, uh, sorry, coffee, that's not coffee, that is wine, um, <laughs> the pound signs, the payday, bullet points, little envelopes, which is good if I need to send like an email or something, these checklists, um, the teardrops, and these spots, and this is really, really handy because when I ordered this, I knew what I wanted to order next, hence my actual second order. By the way, the one that's missing here was a planner um, sticker, which I used already, which I loved. So... This was my first order from Stickel, Stickle Co. Um, and absolutely love the stickers. I've pretty much ordered almost everything from her now though. So it's like after this order, I ordered pretty much everything. So I don't really have anything else to order. Um, so this is my second order from Stickel Co. I think this one didn't cost me that much. It was only like seven pounds or six pounds or something. But this is the same sampler she gave me. Kind of wish that it was a variation, like she rec which people could like recognize 
you know, who the customers are and perhaps send something a little bit different. Just just a suggestion. No problem. Still, we're going to use it. Um, so just a little sampler sheet. And then I did get all of the plan stickers because I love these little planners and I use them in my spread and I want to plan sort of every Sunday, make a routine happen. So I just put these in my little stickle co um pile then on the sampler sheet I did get the um tees and I really liked those and they just look really nice so I got um the tea sheet which was really cute and then I loved the to clean ones but I thought I should get the to do ones to go with it um so that's what I did so I got to do and to clean so that was everything from Stickel Co or Stickle Co, whatever you want to call it. Moving on to the final, final shop, which I also placed two orders with. The first order I placed was this one, which wasn't all that big. And then the second order was one that was much bigger. And this is from a company in the UK as well called Plan With Jade. And the first order I placed with them was this one right here. And this one cost me, where is it? £8.49 and the reason I loved Plan, Plan With Jade is because she has got some really nice sets. Now because I'm new to planning, um, I'm not sort of, I'm still, I'm still going to have to learn how to sort of do a full spread and themes and things like that. So what I loved about her is for the price of, I think it was, let me just double check on here, I think it was £7, um, £7.50 because I just ordered one thing from her. For £7.50, you get all of these sheets, and it's for um, a specific spread. So on her site, she's got different spreads. So I think she had like a pamper day one, she had a mermaid one, this one, which is the London one, um, and just a bunch of different spreads. There wasn't like a ton, but there was quite a few. And for all of these stickers, it was £7.50, and the shipping was 99p which I thought was very, very reasonable, hence why I placed a second order with her. Really, really liked the stickers. So in the first order, I didn't get any sample sheets, kind of sad, but I did get the London spread because next month I'm going to be in London for a whole week with work and I just thought it'd be a really nice occasion to use the London stickers. So you do get a page of full box stickers. They're all matte once again. And I just like these designs. I mean, they're not, like, incredibly amazing. Like, I don't particularly like, like, this one. And I don't know, but I like the, the bends and the polka dots and the foam boxes and the check. Like, I don't know. I like them all, actually. <laughs> um, so it's really nice. And that up top, she even puts London full boxes. Like, I just think that's really good. You've got your page headers or your titles that say to go, to do, to clean, to buy. Little things today to do. Love it. I think that's fabulous. And I just love how these all tie in together and you haven't even got to think about it because um, sometimes you don't we're planning you just want sort of a kit and put it in front of you and stick everything down you know some half boxes that are faded so you can write in them and they're the same theme as the back ones then we have our washi strips so as you can see up here London washi that's what it's called apparently because it's sort of like little like if you were to cut these washies like that's what it's meant to look like so you've got all different sizes you've got really thin ones you've got a little bit thicker sort of quarterly um that's quarterly sort of a fifth quarterly and then half and they're all the same designs as well and it's the same for all of them so you can alternate love that then you get your fun little page which has got like your um your sort of decorative stickers on it so you've got the london taxis the london bus big ben you've got these little characters i'm not a huge fan of these characters like it's a bit childish i probably won't use them but i do love the little crowns and the underground and things like that because i'm gonna have to use that when i'm there so like, it'll remind me to bring my oyster card and things like that the crowns love this little page but yeah the little people i don't know if i'll use them i just kind of put me off that a little bit and then this is the other page, the final page, sorry, that comes with it. And this is the sampler, which is good because obviously you only need like one weekend banner when you're doing a week spread. So it comes with the weekend banner. It's not the prettiest thing. I think that could have been done a bit nicer. Um, hydrate the stickers, which I've never used before, but I know they're very popular, which is quite cool. A telephone, a meal, a bin, a, e a letter, a pill and a TV. Um, and all these flags and these check marks, which are going to be really good because I'm going to be away with work on that week that I'm planning to do this spread. So I'm going to need a lot of check boxes to make sure I'm doing everything I need to be doing. So that was the first order I got from Planet Jade. I loved it so much. The fact that I spent £7.50 and I got all of those stickers that are going to last me over even one spread because I won't use all of them in that one spread. The majority, yeah, but not all of them. 
So I placed another order and she put another little sticky note on here that says thank you for your order uh, and enjoy your stickers, love Jade and she did that on the first one as well. This time as you can see this is a pretty healthy stack. Um, this time she gave me a little sampler which is nice and she has her own little stickers on the back, very professional. With this order, this is my little sampler, loving the pumpkin, just saying I'm actually about to order some more when I get paid this weekend. Um, order some more of these fall and Christmas stickers. Very excited. And I like this too because her little plan with Jade is a sticker too. So if I ever need to order from her, I can put that in my little planner too. So I've got like a medical sticker, a telephone, a TV, a to go, to do, and some like just little random bits here. So the first thing I ordered from her is these countdown, pink 30 day countdown stickers. Really, really liked these. I don't know why. I thought they were something to do with exercise when I first seen them, but they're not. It's like 30 days to go, 29, 28, obviously, and then it says like today's the day or one month to go. Really like this. Like if I have a big event coming up or if I have like, I don't know, my birthday month or what, like my birthday coming up to it, that would be really fun to use. So I just got those and I thought, eh, I'll use them at some point. Um, then I got this to go with my pink lemonade spread. I couldn't resist it when I seen it. Um, love the lemonade stand. We'll definitely have to make use of that. We've got all these little lemons. I love this banner. And then we've got like the 25 cents, little glasses, little lemons. Once again, I'm not a massive fan of these characters, but it is what it is. Um, and yeah, really, really cute. And then I ordered a couple of sets. Did I order a couple? Yeah. Oh my god, I actually ordered two. Okay, well, there we go then. Um, <laughs> I ordered two more sets. So that's um, 14 odd pounds. This order was like something like 19 pounds again. I ordered so much. Um, so I ordered her mermaid set. Let me just separate them. So I ordered two more sets from her despite having the London one already. I got the mermaid set and this is the first page. This is the washi page. So the colour scheme is sort of red, blue and pink. Um, or dark red, whatever. And this is the washi. So these are the patterns. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Um, this is the same again. The sampler page. The same colour scheme just to go with your spread. The headers. Same to go with your spread. The little boxes to write in. The half boxes to go with the spread too. And then this is the actual um, full boxes that it comes with. So you've got like little starfish. Little... Um, seashells these are all little scales this is like a clam with a pearl in it seahorses and then this one's like little boats and treasure things but kind of childish but i kind of like that one the only thing is is they're all sort of facing like if if they were that way not like because i'm gonna be placing it like obviously long ways um that's the only issue i have with that same with the scales they're they're facing that way but i'm gonna put them in that way Anyway, then we have our little decorative page. I really like these characters actually now, the mermaids. They are so adorable. And I love the bubbles. Oh my gosh. And the treasure chest. Oh, love the treasure chest. Then her other set, so that was the full set of mermaid. Then her other set that I got was her spa day set. And this is the washies. Can I just say, favourite part about it is these cucumbers. Loving it. So this is the washi page. Then this is the sampler page, so as you can see it's light blue, lilac and pink themed. And it's just all the same stickers on the samplers. The headers, which obviously I'm not going to use all of those probably, so that'd be good to have some left over. The half boxes and the same designs, and then the full boxes. Love the cucumber one. Ah! So you've got lots of nail polish and like fingernails and like filers and little spa things, face masks, slippers. Bubbles, loving the bubbles too. Stars, just very, very pretty. I couldn't decide between both of them, which is why I got both. And then the decorative one, which has got these characters again. I love this little basket full of um, pamper stuff. I'm just having like a week off, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I'm just having a week off or even, I don't even have to use this in a whole week. I can just use it for like the specific day. So yeah, and that was everything that I got. That was a lot of stickers from Planner Jade. Like if you put these sets together, I got a lot of stickers from her. Um, I, yeah, when you, I will warn you guys, if you are getting into this, it is heavily addictive. I probably spent, as you can see, about maybe 40 odd pounds on stickers. And now that I look back on it, because I did it over time, now that I look back on it, I think that is just, I think that is just incredible. So these were all the stickers that I ordered. Oh my goodness. As you guys can see, I did go a bit crazy and I already got, like in my Etsy cart at the moment, I've already got 
loads and loads of other ones that I really, really want. Um, but this has got a little bit insane. I didn't quite realize how many I'd ordered. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so this was my video. This is actually my planner. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of these Etsy shops, I will leave all the links to them down below. Um, and also I will try and get some coupon codes for you guys because I have got sent sent through some in the, um, in the mail after I ordered these. So loving it. And also the discount code for this personal planner where you can get 10% off will be in the description box for you guys too. That'll be good all the way through next month. And yeah, I'm super excited about this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Ciao.